Hi everybody, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty where we women over 50 use great skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Today I'm excited to bring you my game-changing new drugstore primer and mascara find, but first let's take a look at my outfit and jewelry of the day. All details are listed under the video, and if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe and or give this video a thumbs up. And these are the products that I'll be sharing with you today. It's the Morphe Make It Big Mascara and the Morphe The Big Lash Primer. And I have heard almost nobody on YouTube talk about these things. And look at my lashes. They are truly amazing. And I have no falsies on, obviously. And these are drugstore price. I think the mascara is $12. And I did a little experiment, which I'll show you in a minute. On one eye, I did just the mascara, and the other eye, I did both the lash primer and the mascara, and I won't tell you yet which is which, but they both turned out just beautifully. I felt a little guilty telling you that I had a great drugstore mascara find, because $12 is fine, but then if you have to add in the lash primer to make it look good, it's really not drugstore priced anymore because together they're $22. But I really do love them, and I truly believe that you could get away with just buying the mascara if you like that, or if you're in the market for a primer, I have never seen a better one. Okay, let me take off this makeup. I'll go down to just eyeshadow, and I'll show you the application of these products. Okay, now I am very up close and personal, and... I absolutely love both the Morphe Make It Big Mascara and the Morphe Primer. It's called the Big Lash Primer. And I started to just use both for you, but because I'm trying to do a drugstore mascara video, the mascara is $12, which is pretty much a drugstore price, maybe a bit of a high drugstore price, but it is so good, it is worth it to me. And then the Lash Primer, the Morphe Primer, is $10. But together they're $22, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mascara on one side and then the lash primer and the mascara on the other side and then we'll compare the two. I normally use both every single morning and I just love them. Okay, let's get into this. And first what I do is I comb out my lashes with this little curved lash comb. It's still got mascara on it because I actually made this video yesterday and it didn't turn out very well. I don't know, you have those days when you look terrible and I just look terrible. So anyway, I did not keep that video. So we're doing it again. And then I use my little lash curler. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put just the mascara on this side. And then we'll put the primer and mascara on this side. And look at that great head. They say that's one of the reasons this is such a fabulous mascara. And I'm not familiar with Morphe having produced mascaras in the past. Maybe they did. But these two products are the only lash products they have right now. And I just don't remember Morphe being into mascara. Morphe to me was more the shadows, and they are great. In fact, the shadows I have on my eyes right now are Morphe shadows. It is the Truth or Bear palette, and I've been wearing it for the last month, too. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Just the mascara alone is amazing. But it looks a little bit clumpy. Most mascara does. So I just use this little brush. Isn't that just pretty? That's only the first coat, too. Okay, let's go over and use this great primer. And I would have to say, the primer is the best primer I've ever used. Look at that. Isn't that cool? But it turns black on your lashes. It's kind of interesting. Well, I, I don't know if it turns black, but it's so dark blue that it just looks dark. And then when you put the mascara on, I think it makes the mascara look blacker, which is always good. But there is that primer. And again, usually I use both every day unless I'm just in a hurry. But the mascara itself is wonderful. And the primer itself is really about the best primer I've ever used, too. And I've used some really high-end primers. Mostly with lash primers, I can't ever tell they do anything. And this one is not like that. So here we go. Comb it out. There is just the lash primer. And one of the reasons I'm doing this for you again, I'll go ahead and put the first coat of mascara over that primer. You don't have to wait for it to dry. But one of the reasons I'm doing this is I had a weird experience when I tried this the other day on camera. And that is that to me, it seemed like the mascara only eyes, the lashes on the mascara only eyes looked 
bigger and bushier, but I, I kind of got mixed up on which eye it was that I put the lash primer and the mascara on versus just the mascara. So I may have been totally wrong about that. And so there is the first coat of the mascara, and I'll go ahead with the, the lash comb. Isn't that just beautiful? I think that is so pretty. I love it. Okay, now we're going to go in with the second coat of mascara on this eye. And you do have to clean it off a little bit. And this mascara and this lash primer is about a month old. So they're both probably on their way out, but they still do a great job. And I'm not replacing them yet, so they must be doing an okay job. Okay, there is that. And again, this is just the mascara on this side, yes. And you can use the little comb to kind of emphasize some lashes that you'd like to emphasize or divide some clumpy lashes. But there is the side just with the mascara. And as you can tell, I think it's just beautiful. It looks like lash extensions or it looks like false lashes, I think. Maybe not totally, but pretty darn good. Okay, now let's go on this side with the second coat of the Morphe Make It Big Mascara. And we'll see <laughs> if the primer side looks bigger or smaller than just the lash side. I could be in for a surprise. Okay, there we go. Going with that comb again. I think the comb is really, really important. I got this idea from Angie of Hot and Flashy. Well, they both look absolutely beautiful. And quite honestly, I can't tell that much of a difference. I think the primer side looks a little bit bigger, a little bit bushier. I think they're both gorgeous though. And I think I could get away with going the rest of the day like this because I don't think anybody would notice. But look at those lashes. Aren't they just gorgeous? And I will say, if you like a supernatural look, you're not going to like these. But if you like a little bit more of a glam va-va-voom look, I think you might like these. Okay, there are the completed lashes. And actually, you would probably be happy just ordering the mascara. Although if you want a great primer, I have never seen a primer like this. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, real quick, I'm going to go in and finish out my eyes just so you see some of what I do. And I love this. This is the Pixie by Petra Peach Corrector and I love it. And I'm using my great Angie concealer brush, which is amazing. I've never used a concealer brush that is this good. Oh, I kind of just made a mistake. I should have put my foundation on first, but anyway, I'll go ahead and do this. Before I get into this under eye brightener, I wanna show you that. I just bought it two days ago and it's a Revolution makeup, so it's very inexpensive. Got it at Ulta, but it's really a nice under eye brightener. Okay, there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on. And I have a great new foundation product. This is the City Beauty Skin Lifting Booster. And this is so good. I actually did a dedicated video about it. And hopefully by the time this airs, the video about this will already be on my channel. If so, I will link it below, but it is amazing. It actually gives your skin a little bit of a firmer look with your foundation. Okay, and I'm going to be going in with this Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I've used this for about a month and I just really love it. I'll just do one drop there. And then I'll go in and use, whoa, I lost a drop and this stuff is precious. I'm going to go in with the City Beauty Skin Lifting Booster, like three drops, one, two, three. It really does. I was amazed. I thought this was going to be a gimmick, but I don't think it is. And this is the BK Beauty 101 Foundation Brush, which I think is a fantastic foundation brush. If you really don't want to see the, uh, the lines, the brush lines, and if you want your foundation to go on really, really smoothly, I just think this is wonderful. And this foundation always looks a little bit yellow at first. I look a little bit like a golden pumpkin. I'll get a little more of that foundation on there. But those drops just give a little bit of a firming effect to any foundation you use them with. It's pr a pretty amazing product because I've used quite a few of the temporary skin lifting serums and they usually have a white haze. It even can go down here on the crepiness on your neck. And I've noticed that it seems to kind of it seems to kind of camouflage that a little bit. And I've noticed that it seems to give the jowls a little bit of a subtle lift. And I just think it also makes the skin just look a little bit firmer all over, maybe a little bit more radiant. 
maybe maybe a little bit less in the way of pores. I don't know, for some reason, I think this Skin Lifting Serum just makes your skin look firmer and more flawless. And this is actually the point at which I should have used the Pixi Peach Corrector, but I did it a little early. So I'm going to kind of ignore that. But I am going to show you one last thing, which is this Revolution Makeup Under Eye Brightening Concealer. And I love it. And it has that little top on it, the little sponge top like the Maybelline one does. I can't remember its name right off the bat. But to get the product to come up, you do twist this. And you can hear the little sound as it's coming up. And I have noticed that this does a good job of covering my under eye veins, which I've got a lot of under eye veins. And again, I'm going in with the Angie Concealer Brush. See how it just kind of brightened that area? I like that look. And this is in the color light. Usually light is my under eye concealer color, natural light, something like that. So anyway, just a little bit brighter. And while I have you here, I'll go ahead and add a little of one of my favorite blushes ever. And this is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in the color Pink Buttercream. It's been around a long time, but it is a super classic. I like it because it's a very neutral colored blush. It's pink and peach kind of all swirled together with a little bit of brown to give it a little more natural look. And it has just a little bit of radiance. Look at that, just a little bit of radiance, a little bit of a satin look. Not shimmery, definitely, but just a little bit of a youthful glow. That is super pretty. Okay, let me finish my makeup and I'll come back with my final thoughts. Okay, here is that completed makeup. And I did want to tell you that for the highlighter and concealer, I used this great little find, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Palette. Love that. And in terms of the lip product, I use a wonderful set of lip products, which I love. And I actually just discovered that I had this lipstick last night. But I think it is so good if you're into finding a spring lipstick that kind of pops. And this is the Maybelline Matte Ink Crayon in the color 80 which is Run the World, 80 Run the World, and it is a wonderful color. And then I have one of my old favorites. This is the BK Beauty Lip Liner, Luxury Lip Liner, I think it's called, in Pink Lady. And this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Crystal, which kind of nulls down the brightness of that color somewhat, but I really love those. And in terms of my thoughts on the Morphe Lash Mascara and Primer, this is the side that has the lash primer and mascara. This is just the mascara side. So I'm going to stand here and let you look at it real quick. Sit here and go ahead if you would in the comment section and let me know which side you prefer. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family and you're interested in all things anti-aging, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I actually found a little website here, which I'll link below, which is Positive Thoughts for the Day. And I'm going to go ahead and read one of these to you. And it says, today is a good day to celebrate. Today is a good day to celebrate. And it says, being alive today is a cause for celebration. Isn't that true? Having a roof over your head is a very good reason to be joyful. Having access to clean running water and electricity is reason enough to be in a festive mood. Don't take your life for granted. Celebrate everything that you have today. Friends, that is an absolutely wonderful thought for the day, and that is that life is short no matter where you are in it, and let's try to make every day a cause for celebration. Let's try to make every day just a little bit more special. Whether that's lighting that candle in the kitchen that you normally save for company, using nice plates instead of paper plates, or going ahead and wearing that fancy scarf that you paid a lot of money for and not saving it for the special occasion. Just for today, let's go through this day and let's look for little ways in which we can make this day just a bit more special. Because when we do that, we're making each day just as special as it can be, and we're bringing joy to ourselves and to those around us. Take care, and I hope you have a very special day and make it a cause for celebration. See you in my next video.